good evening everyone today we will cover a important portion from the chapter light that is the image formation by card mirror already we have discussed how a plane mirror construct the image their properties also we know whether the properties maintained by plane mirror are true for concave or convex mirror we will make a investigation today as the image formation by car mirror is not easy so we will use four rules that already we cover in last video first rule is if any ray coming from focus sorry if any parallel ray is there it will pass from focus second rule is if any ray coming from focus it will be parallel after reflection rule number 3 is if any ray coming from center of curvature then it will return back in the same path why because it is only the normal ray so i equals r equals 0 degree and fourth rule is i equals r at any point we will consider here the point pole so these four rules are available with us we will use any one or two or all the rules for construct the image for concave mirror the possibilities of object projection are six so total six chances are there first is we can place the object at infinity distance from the mirror infinity means not finite we cannot calculate huge distance from the pole from the mirror so that is our situation one situation two is little bit beyond the center of curvature third situation is object can be placed at the center of curvature fourth situation is object can be placed between center of curvature and focus fifth situation is object placed on the focus itself last situation is object can be placed between the pole and focus so there are total six object position for which we have to complete the ray diagram of image formation it's not easy we have to pay attention or remember all the four rules then only we can complete all the diagrams clear four rules you remember and you remember the object situations chalo first is object is at infinity here a little bit understanding required if object is infinity rays are parallel but why for that i have taken sun as a source and earth as my reflector clear for position one of earth dekho these two terminal rays make good amount of angle if earth position shifted to p2 then same now earth will face terminal rays that are less angle they make less angle if we move to the position 3 now the terminal rays suffered by earth are little bit parallel compared to position 2 or 1 thus we can make a conclusion if my object slowly shift from the source and theoretically if it is at infinity then the terminal rays or the rays that is suffer will appear to be parallel clear so thus we can come to the conclusion that if any object is at infinity rays that are coming will be parallel so for object at infinity the incoming rays will be parallel let us take the object by this red line object i am considering ab 
and these are the incoming rays parallel rays now we know from the definition of focus parallel rays pass from f physically it means whatever the image size sorry whatever the object size the image will form at f and it is point image clear size of the image is just point so now we can complete the information about image that is position position is of image position is at f size yes it is point or very diminished and nature rays really meet it at the point f as the ray really meet so it will be a real image clear so that is the situation one now let us discuss situation two that means object is beyond c okay so let us take the object as a b we will use rule one that means parallel ray pass through focus now we will use rule which rule four rule we have i am using third rule coming from c it will return back in the same way thus now i can find out a common point where both the ray meet yes that means that is the image of the object a b so i i can give the name a dot b dot clear so now we can complete the information position of the image between c and f size yes it is very clear a dot b dot is smaller than ab so size of the image is smaller or we can tell diminished nature yes real because rays really meet and construct the image so it is real and inverted why vertically it shifted third is the object is the at center of curvature okay a b is my object placed at c rule 1 rays parallel passing from the focus now second ray i will take which will pass the focus rule 2 tell us it will be after reflection parallel with principal axis so they meet at a point now i can complete the image if you do the diagram properly it will exactly come at the point c and i can give the name a dot b dot so now ab and a dot b dot are quite same in size so size is same position is at c nature is real and inverted vertically downwards so that's why inverted third situation object is where position of the object yes between c and f for this situation i am taking a ray parallel after reflection it passing from focus now i am taking second ray such a way ki if someone wants to investigate the path of the ray it will appear that it is coming from c so such a ray after reflection will follow the same path clear so after reflection the ray will move like that if both the ray i just proceed then they will meet such a point and construct the image a dot b dot it's clear image a dot b dot is much much larger than object ab so size is enlarged position is beyond c and the nature is yes a real and inverted i think you understood now go to the fifth situation that is object is at 
principal focus. So at focus, let's drop our object AB. I am taking parallel ray passing from the focus. That is the rule one. Now I will use rule three. Means rays appear to come from C. So it will follow the same path. Now these two reflected rays are parallel to each other. It means physically they will meet at infinity. Actually they will not meet. So we can consider they can meet at infinity. Because infinity means it has no limit. Clear? If they meet at infinity then it will be huge. Size will be huge. Clear? Matlab? It is extended huge. So position is position of the image is infinity. Size is really huge and highly enlarged. Nature we can say yes, real and inverted. Clear? Still now few hype situation we have discussed all are real and inverted. Sixth situation is object is between the pole and focus. So let's drop our object AB between F and P. Rule 1 I am using now parallel ray after reflection pass from the focus. Rule 1. Now I am using rule 3 that means rays appearing like it is coming from center of curvature. So after reflection, it will return back in the same way. Now these two reflected ray will never meet physically because they are diverging. So they can't meet physically. So what will happen? If your observer is here and by his eyes he is following these two reflected ray, then this observer, this observer will think Ki the light is coming from that point A, thus A dots is the image of the point A. So this A dot B dot is the image of object AB. I can write the information image forming behind the mirror. Yes, size is enlarged because no doubt A dot B dot is bigger than object nature. Yes, it's very important. The rays actually not meet. It's my imagination. It's observer imagination. So, it is non-real image. Or we can say it is virtual image. Remember, always virtual images are erect. So, virtual and erect. Erect means upright. Clear? So total 6 situation is enlisted in this table. Please pay attention on the last situation. For this last situation, image is virtual and others image is real. Now we will discuss use of concave mirror. Just now we have drawn the image formation by concave mirror for six distance position of the object. Try to remember the last situation where the object is placed between the focus and the pole. In such case, you have seen the image is bigger than the object. And also it is erect. It means if we keep a concave mirror so close to our face then we will get an enlarged image and that is also erect. This principle is used and in serving mirrors, in makeup mirrors, in dental mirrors. Clear? So object have to kept between the focus and the pole. And as a result, the image that will come will be big and erect. So this is the well-known use of concave mirror.
hmm? at picture also it is shown second big uses of concave mirror is in car headlight how it helps let's try to understand we have drawn a concave mirror and at focus generally light source are kept from the source light are coming on the mirror and after reflection they become parallel the physical significance of the parallel rays is they can travel a longer distance so thus by using concave mirror we send the rays to a longer distance in the next slide we will discuss convex mirror how make the images same four rule we will use here first is object is at infinity so incoming rays will be parallel we know parallel rays reflect such a way it appear to the observer that all the rays are coming from a particular point f physically it means whatever the the size of object image will form at f and it is point image now object is not at infinity but at any point between the pole and the center of carpet at any point on the left side so i have taken on the arbitrary position of the object first rule i have used parallel ray after reflection appear to pass from focus third rule now i am taking second ray it coming such a way it is going towards center so after reflection it will go back in the same path so if we join these two lines they will construct a image clear let's draw the image yes this is my image so now you can easily compare the object ab and the image a dot b dot yes image is very small compared to the object and the position is between pole and focus size is diminished and nature yes the rays actually not meet we are thinking rays meet so it's virtual and erect image now uses of convex mirror in all the cases convex mirror produce the images that size is less than the object we call diminished image so as convex mirror can form diminished image so the mirror can take or can cover a good portion of area means in physics we call field of view so field of view will be more good now for exam you should practice these questions it will be your practice one question generally came in exam like this you are given three mirrors one is plane another is concave and third one is convex mirror without touching how you will justify which mirror is which side simply keep your thumb and just place in front of the mirror if it is same size image then plane mirror if the image is bigger then concave mirror if smaller then convex mirror clear thank you thank you